Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. In lateral view, the facial form analysis indicates the relationship of midfacial and chin point to nasion perpendicular plane. Here, the maxillary and mandibular alveolar point relationship is noted. Frontally, the symmetry of the patient's face can be seen. From an inferior view, mandibular symmetry is noted. The mid-palatal rife shows symmetry with the facial midline. Intraorally, first permanent molars have erupted in all four quadrants. Some primary molars are still in place. Some permanent bicuspids have erupted. The incisor relationship in centric occlusion. The right side posterior view. The molar relationship, class two in the first permanent molars. The left side posterior occlusion. Class one first permanent molars. The centric relation position and the centric occlusion position are demonstrated. Centric relation tooth contact here. The centric occlusion position. Repeat it again. Centric relation tooth contact. Centric occlusion. The mandibular inclined plane removable appliance is being placed. The contact of the maxillary left lateral incisor with the inclined plane can be seen. For diagnostic purposes, is this crossbite functional or non-functional? An intraoral view will give us the answer. What is the role of the skeletal balance in the etiology of the crossbite? The facial form analysis will give us the answer to this question. What is the role of the dental balance or tooth positions in the etiology of this crossbite? An intraoral view again will give us the answer. Here we see the lateral view of the patient's head for facial form analysis. Maxillary and mandibular alveolar points can be related to the nasion perpendicular plane. Frontal view, facial symmetry, inferior view of the mandible to determine mandibular symmetry. Mandible is in rest position here. Interoral view showing right side posterior occlusion. The left side and here the centric relation position, centric occlusion. Again, 
the centric relation position shown here, centric occlusion position. Is this crossbite functional or non-functional? The centric relation, centric occlusion positions provide this information for us. Again, the centric relation position here, centric occlusion there. What is the role of the skeletal balance in the etiology of this crossbite? The frontal view of the patient provides information we need to make this assessment. The mandible is in rest position. What is the role of the dental balance or tooth positions in the etiology of this crossbite? The shape of the alveolar process should be observed when you examine a patient intraorally. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.